on Facebook, YouTube. Interesting, 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 interesting. Researching things. Interesting. All right, topic of the message. Now, here's what you people need to understand about God that, uh, that I learned in his divine plan or him himself concerned I did a video of this you know and I learned that when you do videos on YouTube it's tough to find your videos I can't find my videos of certain messages I did you know that are very important but I guess I gotta make another one because I can't find the one I made but this is very important very important and the topic of this message is the reality of last first and first last last first first last I did a lot of videos that's pertaining that idea because what you got to understand that is God's main idea concerning his theme concerning earth if you look at it, it's so cool if you look at the history of the earth and look at the dynamics of the sequences and how it's structured that people know in Judaism that once or what King Solomon says once happened there's nothing new under the sun once has been has already established something like that um, the thing is when you learn the circle thing that God repeats itself in a cycle but in a different kind of idea you find it's quite interesting uh, things about the last first and the first first I mean, you know, last should be first, first, last about his thing because in the beginning he created heaven and earth and in the end he shall make a new heaven and earth I hope that got your you know, attention but the thing is now, he told me about this blood moon and this blood moon tetra about, you know he told me to remember the first blood moon. The key thing is the first blood moon is what's important. And the cool thing about this that I just, I was watching a video, and I watched videos that stimulate my spirit or something like that. It stimulates it, and I, and I see something, I'm like, oh, wow, that's awesome. But it's funny that, you know, when you got to pay attention to the little things, it shows you, and if you know what those little things mean, you find a greater meaning in how things are done. Now, um, the blood moon, very important. And the thing is, the, now, the, uh, the blood moon took place in, the first blood moon took place in Tuesday. And Tuesday, that blood moon proceeded a halo very important and the thing is and now the net now the last blood moon the last blood moon is uh, was on more likely a uh, Monday a Monday ish blood moon but it started on Sunday Monday but you know how the Jew, Jewish people calendar yeah. okay um thing is, you know, this was more likely mainly on a Monday. Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, that you're supposed to put Monday and Tuesday last, first, first, last. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Together to see a procedure of a halo. What that means it has to mean something meaningful because he would never do it just like that for nothing. God doesn't do that. one thing about I learn about God more and more about every detail of what he does. He doesn't do it for nothing. And the thing is now today is Tuesday. And Tuesday, Wednesday, what are we gonna see? Because it's last first and first last. But the last was on Monday, but you're supposed to take the first with the last, and last supposed to show forth the procedure of, watch this, God sees it.
See, like I said, this is God's season, and God does His thing on His season. He will make the first, you know, last, and the last first concerning His dates. So the thing is that, you know, now, you know, nobody couldn't see, uh, predict the halo was going to develop, you know, after the um, blood moon in the first blood moon. Nobody didn't know that a halo was going to proceed. But that's the thing about God. There's things that you have to, you know, follow the you know, instructions to see, proceed something. So, put it this way. Some, I'm not making no predictions. I'm just presenting what God has done. Now, something's going to happen maybe Wednesday, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Because that halo or, or something might proceed Wednesday to Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Wednesday to Thursday because the halo See, the halo was the sign on the Wednesday to show a sign there to proceed something. So the thing is, I don't know, but God don't do nothing on for, for nothing. He doesn't do things for nothing because this last verse, the first last, is what his motto, as I said in the other videos, I'm going to show God's last verse and first last how he established everything all the way to uh, Abraham. Abraham, you know, um, uh, he, he, now, I wish I could talk about Abraham, but I don't know people know about the, you know, the ideas. Shout out my boy Perry Stone did his research about um, finding out King Melchizedek is of the descendants of Sham. Because it's very, it's or more likely could be the son of Shem that I believe. Because, because I found out that you know researching God's uh, pattern is like uh, passing down a baton concerning God to establish His, you know, divine plan. But, uh, but a descendants from Shem, you know, what I'm saying uh, that He proved that whoever was uh, King Mel. Chesedek, he was a descendant of Shem, and you know, Abram was from the Earl of Chaldees, of a place that worshipped false gods and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Well, how could a person place of a place of a worship false gods, and Shem knew the true God, you know what I'm saying? Concerning through his father, uh, Noah, you know, he knew the true God, and, and Shem knew uh, Shem be God, the king of Melchizedek. He was a descendant of uh, Shem and a person that worship false gods. False gods last, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. And it starts there and it ends up, you know, he, be, you know, uh, eight, now I've talked about uh, Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael was the firstborn. Isaac was the last born. Second born. Isaac gets the promise. There's the last, first, first, last. See that cycle? You get to Isaac, he got, you know, uh, Esau and Jacob. Esau was first, Jacob's last. As you see, Jacob gets the birthright first last there's the first last all the cycle throughout the establishment of God is a first last kind of situation you know what I'm saying I can talk about a lot of stuff you know what I'm saying it depends on if you you know want to hear it but the thing is I, I, I like about Elijah and Elisha that it's a first last in that because Elijah did you know uh, seven miracles? Elisha did fourteen miracles. Last, first, first, last. Stuff is all through the cycle of the scriptures. King Saul, King David. King Saul was the first king of Israel. David was the next, but it's the first, last. Uh, it's God does it.
And the thing is, it's all through this pattern that God has revealed to me. You know, He does it in everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and including the uh, church. The church is supposed to establish the divine plan of God, not to establish the you know, beginning of the divine plan of God if you did your um, uh, uh, research correctly concerning Zion. Zion is the woman in travail, according to Isaiah uh, 66 and all kind of others uh, scriptures that says Zion is and Zion is, you know, the church. And, and Zion was, I mean, the Jews was first, the church was last, first, last. It's just that kind of thing that um, that he's establishing the, uh, his divine order and divine plan. That, you know, that's what is going to quite interesting. That this switcheroo of these blood moons, that the first you know, become last, and the last become first, that whatever his establishment will proceed, you know, the first, the last will proceed the first, I'm trying to say, I hope I'm saying it right, but that's pretty cool, um, how he does that, you know, and a lot of stuff God revealed to me that I wish I could show you, but, you know, it's like, you gotta understand, I hope that I gave you an idea of a lot of stuff that he showed me, is so powerful because he is so powerful but I hope you understand the reality of this message that you know my, something might happen tomorrow something might not happen tomorrow but I'm just following the order and the pattern of God that's the message God is doing here for another